Hey guys, it's Dima from Dimus Tech, and today we are checking a simple yet very interesting device. So this is an HDMI video capture card or box or I don't know adapter, however you want to call it. And basically that's it now. There is something special here. So first of all, you can turn pretty much any camera or any HDMI device into your camera, into your webcam, for example, or things like that. We currently probably need it less because most of the manufacturers already added the option to use their products as webcams. For example, Canon, Sony, uh, GoPro, you can finally use them as your webcam, so you don't need that device for that pretty much, but some cameras don't support it, and sometimes that's not exactly what you want. For example, for my case, I actually ordered this for a totally different reason. What I want to do with that is actually continue to record my tutorials, and some tutorials I do record my screen. Now, in some cases, I do need to restart my computer, and those are the cases that you actually see me taking video with my main camera of my screen, and the quality isn't the best. So with this, I can directly show you what's going on on my screen in full quality. Now, what do I mean full quality? That's not exactly full quality, but it will output up to 1080p, 30 FPS, which is the original quality I use anyway, because my screen on my computer is 1080p, and that's totally enough for me. And 60 FPS for such tutorials, you don't need it and you never use it. Now I can show you, for example, what's going on in my BIOS, and we'll actually see that in the end of this video. So this box costs a little bit more than 15 US dollars. It's not pricey at all for what it is capable of. And you get that box, you obviously get a manual, which I can't remember where I put it, and it doesn't really matter because it's really simple, and you get this. Now this is a weird thing, it's a USB-A to USB-A cable, and yeah, that's something ridiculous, but that's what it is. So, let's go ahead and see what ports does it have. So, here we have USB port, which Marked as USB 3, though I don't think it is, and it doesn't really matter. A power LED is just a LED, not a button on anything. A microphone, which means I can actually inject sound into this while I'm recording, for example, from my camera on something. For example, my camera, as far as I know, it doesn't transfer sound through the HDMI, so I do need to use this one, and it actually works really well. You can also plug headphones in the RL here, right left, and then you can pretty much monitor your sound through this, so that's quite nice. On the other side, on the sides by the way we don't have anything, and on the other side we have two HDMI ports with LEDs, so in and out. What that means, and what makes this thing a little bit special I'd say, is for example, I can plug the input from my computer and I don't have to use the output only on my, for example, laptop and that's it. I can pretty much use the same way my computer as is on my normal screen, while through the USB it will catch everything. And that's quite awesome and interesting. There are things like that that are even smaller, but they have only input HDMI without any output. So that's sort of a pass-through. Now obviously it's not a real pass-through because it will damage the quality. Now again, I don't mean damage, it's still 1080p, 30fps, but it's not the highest recording quality obviously. For example, if you want to use 4K, it's not the device for you obviously. But for my case, it's exactly what I need. It doesn't cost a lot. And I finally will be able to show you more things during my tutorials. So I actually gain here without losing anything. More of that, I prefer this method rather than using some weird Canon application, for example, or GoPro application in order to show you a thing. And if that's not enough with this thing, I can actually live stream with my Canon R5 and you'll see 
though only 1080p, but come on, it's a live stream. Now the process of installing this is actually very simple. Just plug it in with a USB and you do need, for example, OBS or any other software that will be able to capture this. Now, there are no drivers here. I mean, it's plug and play. My computer, for example, did recognize it in no time with uh, no issues at all as a capture device. And that's pretty much the device that you set in your OBS, for example, in the source or in any other app that you choose that supports it. For example, you can use it with VLC to view things. So this device is pretty simple. Now it's made out of metal, but honestly, it's not that it's high quality or anything. I think they made it out of metal because it will gain some heat when you use it, obviously, HDMI and everything. And instead of building any heatsink or anything, they just made it out of metal and that's it. Anyways, I think the best will be actually to show you an example. So I'll connect my computer, I'll connect my laptop and I'll pretty much show you what my BIOS looks like through this thing and not through the camera this time and you'll see its potential. So now we are on our computers, basically what's going on here, there is an HDMI cable that goes from my computer from the bottom to this thing here. Basically, that's going to the HDMI in, then the HDMI out going to the screen, and there is a USB going to the laptop. Now, it's not exactly possible to show that much, but here you have two green lights because the input and output are working, and here you have your red light on the power because the USB is connected. If I disconnect the USB, let me show you, there is nothing on the screen. Now if I connect, it should appear back. Here it is. Okay, so we're connected. I didn't install any drivers again. Now, again, this is the first time that I connected it here to this laptop and basically I just installed OBS. So what we're going to do is now go to the sources and this is just for how to do this, right? Video capture device and let's create new and it will ask us what's the device and we should have here USB video and here it is. Now we can basically leave it as is and press OK and as you can see if I move something that's moving also on the laptop as well and that's it we just hit here record and that's it I can record whatever I want and as I said, I can pass through here the audio and it will work without any issues. Let me just switch to recording here and switch here to my BIOS, for example, so you'll see what I can do now. Now you can see my BIOS and pretty much everything how it is. <laughs> I'm not going to change anything here, just in order to show you that I'm out of the system and yet I can fully show you my screen with no issues, you can read all the text and everything and for me I just look at it as usual, as always, nothing special. And let's just go here for example to the easy mode, you can see all my stats and everything, it doesn't really matter right now, so everything is working with no issue and that's exactly what I wanted, now I can pretty much for example, make a tutorial on how to overclock a computer or something like that. And I can pretty much show you what I'm doing. And even if there will be a blue screen, you will still see it and even the reboot and everything. That's exactly what I was trying to achieve. And here it is. It is working, as you can see. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one!